All right, welcome to the Marshville series, and this is coming out a bit later than I would have liked, but what better day than Procrastinator Day? But starting out, we finally got our level increase, but like all patches, it's going to be a gradual increase. So most likely expect another one later this week. So let's go ahead and take a look at the casual tab, starting with Artificial Island. And you wanna make sure that you go ahead and click on this present icon because you can only hold your resources for 24 hours. And once it hits 12 Eastern, you wanna check in this corner and see if you have an old man icon. That way you can get those free resources. And if you don't, be sure to check your friends, your crewmates, or people out in the world who give you access so that way you can get those free items. And if you want to find out more about that, check out this video. But you still want to visit your island at least once a week. Once inside, you want to go to this triangular icon and you want to check your exchange door so that way you can buy your weekly items. Also, the month is ending soon, so if you have not bought your special vouchers, make sure you do that. But for those that are capturing animals, we now can get a new pin. So with that, you wanna make sure that you feed your animals at least one time a day. Next, you have fishing, to where you wanna to try to get your fishing level to nine, that way you can buy your weekly standard matrice. And if you're just starting out with fishing, you wanna to try to get 100 to 150 green bait. That way with the rest of your available bait for the week, you can buy purple bait. And then you can use that once you have time to fish. Bringing us to Ronnie the resource dealer. To where you wanna make sure you buy your pelican shards, especially if you're a boat main, your energy, and your potanomium crystal. Then you wanna to try to do your appointed research at least every couple days. Because you can only hold a grand total of 20 energy, so that way you can keep getting your five free energy day next we have racing and with the end of the month coming soon if you do need Mira you might want to try to race and try to get into the top 100 and lastly we have the trap section if you're trying to capture enemies you want to make sure that you get your daily capture experience a day and if you're trying to go for those mounts you want to try to have level 5 and celestial capture that way you can capture all of the bird like mounts or you could try to go for the ocean catch and try to get the golden dolphin which brings us to our daily bounties to where you want to always accept domain 9 and this time you don't necessarily have to save your key since we're going to be in the same section in the next patch. But you might want to save them just in case you have enough energy for the next patch. And then you want to make sure you do your Mia's Kitchen. You also want to make sure that you do your three Claire Stream Machines for the week because you can get some pretty nice rewards like the new Titan materials, red nucleus, or special vouchers, as well as some other materials. You can access these by killing elites, opening up boxes, or even looking for machine parts. Bringing us to Vitality, starting with joint operations. So now in this patch, we have an addition added to our daily first clear reward. So you definitely want to make sure that you do at least one joint operation a day. That way you can get these drives to help level up your simulacrum traits, which are pretty hard to get. And you still want to get in the habit of checking out this instance of fixed. If you notice this week on Saturday, we were able to get Scylla shards. So hopefully you're able to save some vitality for Friday and get some extra Scylla shards. And on the topic of joint operations, this weekend we have double drops. So this should last till Monday. So for the next couple of days, I would focus on joint operations since they're double drops. Next, we have Interstellar Exploration to where you want to check Vera as well as check Aspera. So that way you can see all of your Stargates. And ideally, you want to try to go for the level three or level two Stargates. And how you're able to tell is if this star icon is above the Stargate. But if you don't have any level three or level two Stargates, you could always do dimensional trials and hit the go icon and use up all of your vitality. And you can do the same for Matrix Data Packs and go. Bringing us to our optionals and that is giving gifts to your one no characters and the best way to do that is to go to the black market and talk to hopkins see this island and do the claw machine or do your two trainings for the day but you can also do meoria fun zones so that we can get training points in mira as well but what is not optional is your security force mission so that way you can get those old vera coins in mira but if you have not cleared out the gray space yet you might want to try to knock out your six gray space fishers but your biggest rewards are in the twilight zone but you do have an eight hour time limit so you could wait on this bringing us to our events so you want to make sure that you're logging in enough time so so that we can get all of your supply run. We have a limited time purchase to where you can get some SR relic shards as well as a new augmentation box. So if you're someone spinning in the game, this is a very good deal. And of course we have Ling Hong as our newest character added in the game. So if you want to find out more about her, be sure to check out these videos. And we have our reruns to where Ling Hong does work really well with Yulon and Icarus. Alice, not so much. Again, I would still hold off on rolling on these characters since we are about to get Nanyin. But we do have the swim 
swimsuit gotcha pond, so if you are going to row for this, I recommend that you use Tanium, otherwise it's going to cost you three times as much. To where of course you can get the swimsuit as well as the weapon skin which changes the effects for Ling Hong. But do know that you do have to have the character to use this skin. Then we have this Glittering Stars event, where you can scratch off and try to get characters to get rewards. If you pay $10, you have a chance to get even more rewards. And we should get a scratch off each week. But one thing to mention about this event, if you are able to get enough patterns, you do get a copy of Lin. So you have to kind of decide, is that worth $10? Then you have Journey Supplies, to where for zero dark crystals you can get one SR Relic box a day, with the next one being the Venus Supply Box. This one is for 50 dark crystals and it is not worth. And then we have the Well one, which is the Polaris Supply Box, so if you are buying data repeaters, you might as well go ahead and pick this up so that way you get a couple extra items. Then we have our Halloween events starting with the challenger's task list. And you'll notice at the time, we have a little over three weeks before this patch is over. So you wanna make sure that you try to complete all of these events. And this is the same for the version delivery. And then we have the trick or treat section to where you have a little over a day to go ahead and complete this event. And I recommend that you only try to go for the very valuable items and not try to clear out the store because it uses up a lot of cooking materials which you might need in the future. Then we have the next Halloween event and every two hours afterwards, you can press this button and instantly teleport to Meoria. There, you're going to be able to click on five pumpkins to collect rewards. You wanna do this so that way you can get points that you can use in the store, which also offer some very valuable items. And one thing to note is that the SSR Relic Box offers many Pelican Shards, so for those vote mains, you might want to go ahead and try to get those. Then we got Mentorship. You want to make sure that you're taking your mentees out each week, so that way you can raise their mentorship level and eventually graduate them. And you want to take at least one mentee with you to do co-op missions. And with this batch, we have some new co-op missions. And when it comes to the store, I recommend that you get the Titan Compiling Module, the Data Repeaters, and your Golden Gear, bringing us to the new features added into the game. First off being the Dimension Level. We can finally reach Dimension Level 100, so for those that wanted to get certain achievements, you can now do this. And you still want to check the Marketplace because you do need to try to get Dominion. And with it being close to the end of the month, you want to make sure that you sell all of your monthly items while at the same time looking for good deals at the store so that way you can make your monthly items much easier. And those that are raising pets, make sure to check the beast adoption shelter so that way you can sell them, since this does change every week. But the main reason why you want to do some of these things is that we can talk to this guy located here. So you can make your domain expedition key, which uses an Aspera, a Vera, and a domain 9 key, as well as 300 dominion. But you can only craft one a week, so you want to make sure that you have these materials ready for each week. Which brings us to the Domain Guard Expedition. But there are quite a few issues with this event. One being that this only happens every day at 8 p.m. But since you're only able to make a weekly key, and if you don't have a key, you get some really bad rewards, most likely, most people are going to do this at the start of the week. So if you're not able to do that, you might have a tough time completing this event. These bosses have a ridiculous amount of health and they only last for an hour. And depending on the channel that you're able to get into, some could take somewhere between 40 minutes to an hour to complete, making it to where you might not have enough damage to kill the boss. On top of that, since these channels are full, there is a lot of lag. One way to help prevent this is to make sure that you have your number of wanderers displayed on screen set to 5, the lowest amount, that way it doesn't lag as bad. So with all these problems, I hope at the very least they increase the spawn times and decrease the health of the bosses. But we'll just have to wait and see. Which brings us to the new area, to where this statue right here, you want to make sure that you get to level 6 before the week is over. Reason being is that this is going to unlock the energy field collector, to where in this location you're able to find find three statues and you're able to hit them with a very fast weapon and you can collect 3000 energy a week. So you want to make sure this is unlocked for tomorrow. After that, you can aim for the top statue and try to unlock level four. That way you can unlock the flowing springs. And then finally unlock the bottom statue to where you get that to level four. So that way you can access the frozen chest. And you may want to consider getting level five so that way you can get double drop rates. And besides that, you might be better off just saving your energy for the next patch. Then we got our weekly tab. You want to make sure you do enough things down here so 
that way you can get everything up top. And you want to make sure that you do the missions that offer keys. But try not to open up all of your signet boxes and choose domain 9 keys. Because remember, you do need some Vera keys for the domain expedition. Bringing us to challenges. So if you're trying to do something like the Bygone Phantasm or Frontier Clash, you might want to save your maze kitchen so that way you can power yourself up. But starting with Bygone Phantasm. So again, you want to go ahead and take a look at this weapon bonus. And if you have a good weapon bonus, then you might want to try to climb a few levels. On top of that, remember Sequential Phantasm now has some extra floors added to that. So every floor you can now reach level 7. So you want to go ahead and attempt each of these so that way you can try to get the top ranks for the week. Since they did add in the new augmentation box. Wormhole, we have less than 3 days to complete this so you want to make sure you do that so that we can get those micro reactor shards. Frontier Clash, you want to make sure you do that so that we can get that golden gear. Frontier Evolution, you want to go ahead and try to knock this out so that way you can get those extra rewards. Origin of War, this is getting down to very low difficulty so you want to make sure that you go ahead and knock this out. Void Rift, now the month resets on Wednesday so you want to try to make sure that you have at least 2 charges for Monday. Void Abyss, if you have not already completed this, you want to try to get a team together and go ahead and knock this out because the month is ending soon. But this is the tech that I was able to use as a vote DPS. Raids. Now this one ended up resetting, so hopefully you're able to do this two times to get all of those rewards. Break from Destiny. Again, the month is ending soon, so you want to make sure that you do this at least one time so that we can get those 250 Dark Crystals. And how you can tell is by hitting this information tab. Arena. If you're trying to reach Grand Marshal, you might want to put a couple hours in each day. Bringing us to your daily buy, so you want to go ahead and hit shop. So again, you want to try to make sure that you have the monthly pass active because this is the best deal in the game. After that, for my Dolphins, you want to try to go ahead and have the 7 day purchase active. Bringing us to the hot tab. So let's go ahead and talk about Vitality Solutions, and I recommend that you don't get no more than two a day, because when you do do that, you're giving up 21 rolls for every new character. But if you need booster modules or advancement modules, you do want to go ahead and try to get those. And let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the limited gift packs, to where some of these are worth and some of these are bad. But the best way to tell is to take the number of rolls and divide it by how much it costs. So the All Hallows Eve gift, for example, is 680 divided by 7, bringing you to 97. Your best deals are 60, and of course you want to try to get them under 150. But if you're someone that can't buy all the packs, you might want to try to see which ones are the best deals. To wear the Red Nucleus Special Pack, you can see that each of these are worth 98, but the big pack right here, which is 6480, each of those are worth 108. If you look at the 2980 pack, you'll notice that this is 119 Dark Crystals. But if you want to find out more about how I did that, be sure to check out this video. Then we got the commentary, starting with the Crystal Dust Store. So you want to go ahead and buy your Augmentation Box, your very Special Gift, your Potent Omnium Crystal 2, your Advancement Module, your Booster Module, your Augmentation Box 2, and your Augmentation Factor. And with the rest of your Golden Dust, you can buy Golden Gear. Space Time Store. Now you want to go ahead and buy your Advancement Modules, your Booster Modules, and your Data Repeater for the week. And if you have extra shards, you can buy IP shards. Weapon Store. Now Teon and Lyra are added to the Weapon Stores, so you might want to consider getting them to help upgrade your teams. With Lyra being great for healers, and Teon not being a bad buffer for both. And Lyra matrices already being very powerful for DPS matrices. Support Store. If you have enough support points, you want to go ahead and try to buy your Gold, your Space Time Crystal Fragments, and if you have an excess, you can buy Black Nucleus and Space Time Crystal Dust. And for Return Points, I recommend buying the Privet Purchase, but if you have an excess, you can consider buying the Space Time Crystal Fragments, the Gold Nucleus, and the radar detector. Point store. Now the only thing that you want to do with your points are buy a spare special gift so that way you don't have to do training, black market, or see this island again. But if you need to level up your matrices or weapons, you could always buy matrix data packs or weapon batteries. And with your critical points, I recommend that you save them. But besides that, I just recommend that you explore the new area, trying to get as much energy as you can, preparing for the next patch. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, feel free to give me a like so that we can spread more on YouTube. But other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.